into it. Today we're going to be talking about a subject that last time we were talking more about college, but this time we're moving more into a social environment, more of the social structure and things that people, that's been a hot topic now recently. So I'll just start off with, first thing we're going to be talking about today was just the cancel culture, just the whole impact of cancel culture and how it affects people's careers and lifestyles and livelihoods as you go on about your day and today too. Like how... How has cancel culture like affected y'all in any way? Uh, I mean, like, has anybody tried to cancel me? I mean, like, yeah, in any way, like, has anyone ever you ever said something that you don't yes. want to say, and then someone just came out and just like, yes. <laughs> um, I feel like now cancel culture makes you limit to what you want to say, and then like even the smaller things, like, okay, you can't say like to refer a homosexual to f word and stuff like that. You can't refer like I, those are understandable and stuff like that, but yeah. it's more of like. Like, oh, like, oh, you can't call a woman female no more. Yeah. And, like, that literally makes no sense to me because, like, literally, like, scientifically, that's what you are. Like, okay, <laughs> if you're going to call, call me female, I'm going to just call you a male. Okay, call me that. That's literally what I am. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so, I always got canceled for that, for my one person that I was referring women to females. But it was just, like, in the moment, sentence, and then she was trying to, like, educate me and stuff like that, like, trying to cancel me. Like, I should never say that. But it's like, well... Like, there's not a cancel thing. But like, other stuff, like, obviously referring to homosexuals as the F word and all that stuff, is like, mm-hmm. that's understandable. Yeah, and cancel culture, it's just, a, it's something like, it's, it's really subjective of who you go after. It's more of, like, a pick and choose thing. Because there's sometimes, there'll be people who have said things that are very controversial, but because a certain group likes certain people and because certain people are off limits, it's okay for them to say some things. But then there's certain people, like let's say an artist, a rapper, we all know who he's getting around and about right. to talk about. Shout out my yeah. guy, Lil Boosie. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Boosie, he's he's someone up there, but Lil Boosie just got to the point where he don't even care. He's been banned off Instagram, Twitter. Every every other month I gotta find his new Twitter account. Every other month I gotta I see his new Instagram account Lil popping. Boosie. Up. I mean, but he actually wild though. He, 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 he actually <laughs> nah, he's the one that actually do be wild. We gotta admit that one. Yeah, he, he was, wild, but he funny. He's nah, he's funny. <laughs> He he's just be walling out, especially what he said about uh especially what he said about like Lil Nas X and everything. That like I said, that alright, that was to an extent that was very wild. That was a little out of pocket. That was very out of pocket. I will admit I should not have said that stuff after I saw that tweet. You saw that tweet? Yeah, I saw the bait I saw like a censored version of it because I was watching yeah. it do say cheese, but like that was straight out of pocket. Like it's just like yo, like I under like I don't understand why like, what's your obsession with uh, somebody who's that homosexual for me it's like yep. just don't see him just if you really got if you're really that bothered by it bro just just block him exactly. don't see him I, it's just yeah whatever <laughs> no nah, exactly you're right like and that's what it comes that's why and the whole thing about cancer culture to me is like if you don't like something or if you just if you're not like a fan of it why is it that you want to why is it that it bothers you so much to the point where you got to go ruin their career. You got to go ruin their life. You got to go find... I've seen sometimes on Twitter, <laughs> someone will tweet something they don't like, right? Yeah. Next, you know, they search up their family. They'll find their job. Look up their whole life resume. Find their LinkedIn. Email their boss and everything. Hey, you know what's crazy? You know who, you know who did that? <laughs> Sky Jackson. <laughs> uh, you remember the, the thing, whole thing she did? What are you doing? So, that no, was a girl. Sky Jackson's a girl. Remember the, the little girl from uh, Jesse? Oh, I thought yeah. she was thinking about a YouTube. Hold up. Oh, Jesse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's she? Oh, wait. Okay, so, Sky Jackson, what she was doing, what she was doing, she was going on Twitter, yeah. finding people's accounts, and then, try, like, seeing that they were saying, white people were saying, like, racial slurs, saying the N-word whatsoever. Yeah. And then she was, like, down at notice, right? These were people who were saying this stuff when there was, like, 11, 13, and 8, like, 11, 13, yeah. 14. So now, like, they're 20, 24. Some, some are even 30, and then, like, they're... Like, like, yeah, nah, she was <laughs> trying to, like, I know ruining people. people's lives just off of, like, just off of, like, old tweets. Yeah. I know. It's like, come on, it's like, some things like that, it's like, like, yeah. it's like, I think it's taking it to an extent, because it's like, when you start, when you, because nowadays with social media, when you bring a bad presence on someone, people will bandwagon and just come to get, like, trust me, you, you see a tweet, 20K likes, of someone bashing, uh, let's say, the baby, easy example. 
you, I'm telling you, a hundred other thousand people are gonna come right there and just start bashing him too, just to just bandwagon onto it. I don't really feel like a lot of these people are thinking for themselves when it comes to something like that. It's more this dumb just, just you know, like it's just dumb just like saying, they just wanna just hop on it because it's trendy and it's, it's the new cool thing to do, I guess. Now that you brought that up, now I wanna like bring up a point that I've been saying. I guess like a opinion of mine. I feel like cancel culture has mostly been affected towards black people than asked towards white people for the same exact stuff. Yeah. Cause like look at it, right? We have a whole president, Donald Trump, have a whole has a whole cult behind him, right? Has he became president, right? What makes him different from Bill Cosby? <laughs> exactly. Really not much when you Exactly. Mean, really not Exactly. Much. And it's like I get it, like I know there's Oh, but he did that. He did that. But it's like, bro, like you, we, he, what he's all, what Trump said also has been like a public thing. It's also been stuff that we've all known about for years. But like you said, it's it's hard to ignore the race when it comes to these scenarios, especially when you start bringing it up. Like when you just start bringing up facts in front of our yeah. face and the evidence in front of our face, it's like, yeah, we've there's a lot of stuff we've known about him. And there's a lot of accusations, a lot of stuff that's probably been proven, but just got like, that just got pushed under the rug, but he still became the president of the United States, the highest position in the whole world. But since we're talking about allegations, right, here's something that actually did happen, right? Elvis Presley literally married a 14-year-old girl. So how come he didn't get a documentary made about it? But yeah, Michael Jackson, when he has an allegation of him, like, touching a little kid, whether you believe it he did it or not, right? It's an allegation, we still don't know. Yeah. He's still, like, that's still a whole documentary made about it, and it's been proven false because the kid said it happened in 1991 when Neverland didn't open up until 1993. Yeah, and, and that's the, and that's yeah. the thing, that's why, Neverland. That's why, yeah, that's why it's yeah. like, when it comes to things like oh, that, it's to hard to ignore hey, what? I wanna the fact. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that's why it's hard to ignore the facts when it comes to certain things like that. It's, it's hard for us to really, it's hard to like overlook all those things when it's right in front of our face. That's why when you bring, like when you bring, I know a lot of people be like, I don't want to talk about race. Well, unfortunately you do because this yeah. country's embedded all over it. So it's like, it's hard, it's hard for you to not talk about it when a lot of things, when you can relate nearly almost every little thing to race, unfortunately, in this country. Yeah. But that's how this country was like built. You can't really do that's that's not our fault or anything like that. It's just how this country was designed and built. It was built off it. So anyways, back to what I was saying though. It's when you start to when you really start to like look into that um when you say like cancel culture and everything like that, it's true. There are certain it's there are certain people that really just They've gotten, like, I'll go back to even when, like, cancel culture was big, too, um, when the whole uh, Me Too thing was coming out and everything like that. You remember, the biggest name that they took down, they took down uh, Cosby and everything like that. Yeah. And they took down Cosby hard. Like, Cosby went down like a crash and rock, like rock bottom. And then there's a lot of other people. There was, like, James Franco who was involved in that. Uh, the comedian, uh, Redhead Dude. Um, Redhead dude, comedian. Uh, Louis C.K. was involved. Louis in C.K. Right yeah, Louis C.K. was all that. Obviously, Harvey Weinstein. But it's like I'm naming James Franco, Louis C.K. And James Franco has made a lot of movies since his all his stuff came out. And Louis C.K. still goes on tours and stuff and since goes, all that came out. It goes back to what I said, right? Notice the biggest name is Bill Cosby, the mm -hmm. black man. Well, he had the worst allegations. He also had like the more I didn't hear about James Franco. It probably was so I don't know. Now I heard about it because the whole thing when the Spider Man trailer came out, they said like James Franco looking behind bars as like his whole his old homies are doing a new movie. Oh wow. Yeah, it so it's it's tough to, you know, like it's 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 gonna be there when you first like when you first talk about it. As much as like I said, like it's in, it's embedded in a lot of stuff. Well it's like the difference between cancer culture like that is like that's cancel culture because they did something. Like Bill Cosby actually touched kids. Like no, he, he didn't touch kids. Well, not kids, not kids. Like he, like he drugged, he drugged, drugged women. women. Drugged women. All right, he drugged women. There's actually like proof and stuff like that. But there's the cancel culture I don't like is like if someone says something. Like how we said like there's two differences in cancel culture. Which you want to hold people accountable is like, all right, you did this, this is you hold accountable. But like what cancel culture does is. You hold, you make them held accountable. They apologize. They like, oh, I'm sorry that this, this, and that, and they don't accept it. Yeah. And so, what's the point? What do you want? You want to just they just want them to like lose all their deals and all this stuff, but like they just apologize. They feel like they said that they could be a better person in the future, but. 
But it, and, oh, continue. No, no, you got it. Okay, so and it, and you just bring up like a good point because basically who that like who that lies right into is the whole the baby there. The whole the baby topic. Baby on baby. Exactly. Like, yeah. We all know the baby. And it's crazy about when we first talk about the baby. I was right there in front of it when it happened. Boy, yeah. So when we landed back up in Connecticut, that's when we first found out that he was like, it was like a big deal all around. Like the country was all over social media. Like the whole big deal was, oh, the baby said this at Rolling Loud. And like I said, we were there personally. And this is... And we really didn't like understand the gratitude what like what was going on after he said that, because then we got back and it's a whole storm. And like I said, this is the first and the reason I bring it up. That was like the first time I saw like a culture, a cancel culture thing like first in the face. Usually I see it on social media and everything, but it was the first time I really saw it like like for a celebrity, for example, like face to face. And then you saw how it impacted him. Like how do you feel like it impacted him? Like. I mean, like, financially, he lost, he, they took around a lot of, like, festivals, but I think now it's getting to the point where it, it passed, mm-hmm. and I think he's just, like, getting booked again. Yeah, and honestly, to tell you the truth, I really felt like that was just an attention-seeking, like, a move, because, like, like t- they took the baby off for his comments that he said, ruling loud. Okay, let's look at everybody else in that list. There are tons of people else that was running, that was performing at those festivals that said comments before. It was just the baby was the one that was most known. Like for example, right, Billie Eilish has said some has said some homophobic comments. Matter of fact, she was dating somebody who said some anti like Chinese, anti like Asian stuff. So like like they didn't take her off any festivals. Matter of fact, they had her headlining it. Yeah, and and it's and it's like and that's like it goes yeah. in the biases and everything when it comes into that because obviously. I guess like seeing like an artist like the baby and Billie Eilish, they're on two different type of like they're seen at two yeah. different ways. Like they're looked at two different ways. She's yeah. a pop artist and he's a rapper, so it's like I mean not just that. I'm sorry to bring up what I said again before, but you know it's just like it's the black guy and the white girl. But yeah, we can we can, also, we can say you can say the the pop artist and the rap artist. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean he brings and he brings up a good point, and I'm wrong about that. And and that's why it's like when it comes into the industry and everything like that, I feel like the industry. They they they'll pick and choose who to put out and blast or certain stuff. Cause I know Cam- what's her name? Uh, is it, it's Camila Cabello who had the thing, right? Are you talking about Dua Lipa? Yeah, no, I was, nah, I think Camila Cabello also had something like that. She said something to where I don't know. Like hey, I'm not fully 100 percent sure yeah. about that. But like it's always there's always like they always pick and choose like certain artists to go after. And then it goes into like I recently too just watched um Dave Chappelle's show. His special on Netflix that everyone. Dave Chappelle should not be getting canceled. Yeah, you cannot cancel Dave Chappelle, bro. Like, <laughs> look, yo, it's a, it's a comedian. Comedians really literally get license to say whatever they want, whatever. and you cannot just start getting butt hurt. It's by all what they jokes, say, bro. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, and people don't get that. Like he's just saying a joke. He's just saying a joke. But nowadays, you say something that one person doesn't like, and they feel the right to oh ruin this person just because I don't because I don't like what they said. Yeah, and that's what he said. I'm very the um, Dave Chappelle. He said it's been said in the press that I was invited to speak to the transgender employees in Netflix, and I refused. That is not true. They invited me. I would have accepted it, although I'm confused about what we would be speaking about. And then he he just continued said to the transgender community, I am more than willing to give you an audience, but you will not summon me. I am not bending to anyone's demands. Thank you. And honestly, I respected when he said that because it's like, what is he apologizing for? You know, it's crazy, right? Why is Netflix making more of a big deal out of what Dave Chappelle said, but they didn't make a big deal out of that movie Cuties? They just let it like they just let it like like air on there, bro. Like, oh, Netflix didn't make a. Uh, I said they didn't make it like like they like Netflix didn't, didn't make a big deal about it. About Dave Chappelle saying? Yeah. Netflix, I'm, my Netflix the employees did. Well, so yeah, that was a place. That's the thing. Yeah, uh, that's not Netflix. Netflix defended Dave Chappelle. Yeah, the oh, CEO. I meant the, the employees. CEO, yeah, but the like the CEO came out and like defended. Like was like we're gonna leave it up. And then the employees, it was a bunch of, like a transgender employees, I believe, came out and it was like, hey, nah, like we don't mess with this. And then I saw her interviewing and everything, talking about, oh, I don't. I don't, we want to talk to Mr. Chappelle and all this, and then Jabe said that, because it's like, what am I, what am I apologizing for? Just saying what I, what's on my mind? Just saying how I feel? Like, just having an opinion? Do you have to apologize for that stuff? It's really like, yo, you're, he's a comedian for real. Like, yo, if you, if you felt offended when he said that, <laughs> go through his other stuff. Right? Go through his old stuff. Exactly. <laughs> and it's funny, I was watching it, my girl, she had no clue who Dave Chappelle was. And this is the she had no clue who Dave Chappelle was. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, you know. I didn't even get that face. No, I'm not making any face. She's I know she's from Italy. 
Yeah, she don't have like she had no clue what uh, who Dave Chappelle was. She literally didn't like hear Fabio Four until like right before the concert when I played it for her. Yeah, <laughs> first time. And then so afterwards, I showed her like some old Dave Chappelle stuff, and <laughs> it's like and she was like, oh, so this is how he really is. Like I'm like, yeah, it's way worse than like what he like. The Chappelle show was like that was like his his new stuff is more of just like a. It's more just hits like social issues and everything, but his old stuff was just laughable. It was just comedy, like, and it was yeah. reckless. It was raunchy. He's always been like that. That's why I'm like, why are you so surprised? That's how David Chappelle is now. Like, were you expecting him to go up there, like, read you North nursery rhymes? Give you very Dave Chappelle shouldn't be canceled. You cannot cancel a comedian, like, cause like, not only Dave Chappelle does this. Kevin Hart did this before, Chris Rock, Cat Williams, Patrice O'Neill, a lot of people. Oh, that's why, remember they tried to cancel Kevin Hart about the whole Oscars thing? Yeah. Uh, no, nah, they also tried to cancel him because he, on on his show he said uh, that his daughter was having whore-like activities. And then now, like, they was, it's trying to cancel him because it's saying, like, oh my gosh, Kevin Hart called a black girl a whore. I No, he didn't call her a whore, he said he had whore-like activities. He said he's a comedian. He said his daughter. No, like, like also, yeah. that also, they're trying to make, like, yeah, so the hot Oscar stage is he in a, in a old special like he made jokes about him son that he doesn't want his son to be gay. Uh, I remember that. I remember actually I remember that joke. I remember yeah he was like I, my my kid was staring at the when they're playing cards and stuff like that. Who's playing cards and I see a kid rubbing on my son's behind. I had to smack both of them. I don't know what to do. <laughs> that joke was probably the funniest joke on that special. But they were trying to cancel him and then they took him off the Oscars and stuff like that. And he apologized. Mm. And said like oh, I'm sorry, but like they're like no, I don't want your apology. No, but, you can't be a comedian at all. You can't be yeah. funny. You can't make people laugh. You can't. You can't make. You can't have fun in life. You have to go by all of our strict rules, even if you hate it. Like, or, you know the thing is like yo, people will be quick to support like the LGBTQ community. I don't mean this in any disrespect, but they'll be quick to support them until they have a child that wants to be that. Yeah. Trust me, like, yo, look, all this stuff, like, yo, you shouldn't say this, you shouldn't do that, it's all closeted, but won't let your kid want to be gay, right? Let your kid, let you have a kid, right? And then you're going to be strictly homophobic. Yeah, people, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, it's, and it's like, I understand what the whole LGBTQ community, like, I understand, I like. I feel gay, I feel bad gay. Is that? What? Nah, you can so it's like I, I like I like I understand like y'all like uh y'all have y'all y'all sensitive to certain things and everything, but it's like here's what we were just saying in the beginning. If you don't like it, there's a thousand other Netflix specials, a thousand other Netflix shows. Just go watch Friends. Ne and Netflix is not getting rid of that. You know how much money they spent? Twenty four million dollars. Exactly. Oh, yeah, no. They're not getting rid of that production. I'm sorry, they spent too much money. That's bad business. I'm sorry. And That's they and they doubled it. Like the first week they doubled that profit. And you, you, yeah, you think they're gonna get rid of it? They double date twenty four and mail. <laughs> you think they're gonna get rid of that? Come on, now. and that's the thing. That's the thing people don't get. Like, you really come on. You really think they're gonna get rid of Dave Chappelle? Like, that's why it's like sometimes I gotta just like learn to like just just like just ignore things. It's another, like, it's another thing. Forward. Like he joked around, but it was more. It was still also like not censored, but it was uncensored too. But it's not like he was making a joke, and like his joke was like what the baby said. Yeah, I mean, yeah, different. Yeah. It's that, like, and that's the other thing. I get or, that. Or, like, he says something like Lil Boosie. Yeah, see, I get that. That's the thing. It's like, yeah. he's not, like, he's not, like, calling saying, them out, yeah. hope they die, and stuff like that. It's just like, oh, this is a joke about them. Yeah, exactly. That, that they do, and stuff like that. I know this. Like, but it's like, he always does that, like, oh, these type of people make these type of um, stereotypes and stuff like that. He just stereotypes. It. That's, that's always been, like, that's kind been of, comedy, comedy since, like, forever. Forever. Uh, like, comedy Harry really talk, Spears. Yeah. Um, Kevin Hart, Cat Williams. Yo, Cat Williams' best, one of his best jokes ever was calling out Michael Jackson. Yeah. Like, meanwhile, Michael Jackson smelling like little boy's booty holes. <laughs> 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 but, like, s stuff like that, like, it will be canceled now. Yeah. And it's like, come on, y'all. A lot of stuff that we enjoyed. I loved it during the pandemic. People would, every once in a while, you would see somebody bringing up, like, something, uh, like, Jimmy Fallon. No, not Jimmy Fallon. Uh... What's his name? Jimmy Kimmel, the other Jimmy. Yeah. He when he did the whole um, you know when he did the um the sketch, the Carl Malone sketch. Yeah. Way back then, you know what I'm talking about? When he dressed up like an all like he dressed up in all like Carl Malone like like blackface and everything like that. Like, oh yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right. yeah. And it's like people brought that up, 
And it was like, they was trying to, like, I could, they was trying to cancel him and everything, saying, oh, stop watching his show, ban him and everything like that. Like, okay. My thing is like this. All right, if you see something like that, make him apologize. All right? All yeah, right. now nah, look, see, blackface is different because yeah. we know the history behind blackface. That's what I'm you, could, you couldn't even do blackface, like, 10, 20 years ago. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why I'm like, all right. So, like, that's why I'm like, all right, for something like that, all right, make him apologize. But am I going to come out and say he's racist because he made a stupid joke? Am I gonna come out and say like he should be lose all his money and cancel the show? Is that exactly? It's like I'm like I'm just saying like for like you don't gotta go to that extent where you saying like, like here's the thing like their lives and stuff like that like Jimmy Kimmel doing that or Dave Chappelle's like you they want to like end their like career and stuff like that. That's, yeah, yeah, that's under that's way overreacting. Like the only people that you could like react to ending a career is like what Kevin Spacey did. Yeah, exactly. Like a Kevin Spacey, a James Franco, Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby. Yeah. And like, you know, it's like I people... forgot Bill Cosby was a comedian as well. I thought he was an actor, my bad. Yeah. And no, like, like Kevin Spacey is an actor, but like like yeah. he did something really horrible and they canceled it and got him out of a job. Mm -hmm. But what he did was understandable of like he could be unsafe in like an environment. Yeah, that yeah. stuff that stuff where it's like, okay, I get it. Like you you're gonna cancel the person. Like I I get it. Like, yeah, cancel the I mean, excuse my language, that, that person. If they did something like that, like I understand it. But then it's like when you just get upset by someone like hurting your feelings by a joke they said. That's where you draw the line. That's where it's like you just becoming honestly just just ridiculous. You're not really, you're not really like doing anything good. You're just being ridiculous at this point because <laughs> you're really trying to ruin someone over something they said. Because trust me, have you guys ever been offended by something someone said? You're at the radio station no. at club, <laughs> like at, at, at same job, like at, at school. I mean, there's like a kid with a with a, like you know, a Republican show, but we can get talked about that at a different time. No, no, like, like, so no, I like, he never really, you. he never came up to you, and like, yeah, like, said a joke. To I mean, then, I mean, his, I mean, his friend was happens to be over our uh, our other friend's apartment, and then we were singing a song, and he just says the n word oh. straight out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. See, but, that, yeah, that's something where it's like, all right, any good. Yeah. I, I never got offended. Though. I never. There hasn't someone. Uh, there hasn't been a joke where I was like, you're too good, too far.